Hello everybody, welcome back to another Less Creators video. Today I'm going to be a, doing a Minecraft CTA train tutorial. It's a ser 5000 series, so one of the newer series train. Um, anyways, let's just get started into this tutorial. So these are the measurements for the train. The train in total is 15 blocks long, and one to one scale, remember, and four blocks tall with a width of three blocks. I didn't see much as this train track design I tried making. It is kind of an interesting one, but you know, I, I, I just try to make something a little different than what I normally would make. Anyways, moving on, it's gonna what you're gonna do is put one stair in the front. So just like that. Then you're gonna put fence on either side, hanging out like this towards the outside. Not like this towards the inside. You don't wanna do that. You can if you want to, but it looks better like this, in my opinion. So just do that. After that, take your grindstone kind of weird I'm just gonna wanna place one over here over here also you will need world edit for this as well if you don't have it let me just try to like use stairs I guess if you'd like to but I'm gonna use world edit just because my opinion looks better so just ruffle this with your ruffle tool to replace your block here block you're gonna replace it with and it's got pink on discord and just like that I'm probably only also only gonna do it on one side and then just flip it over once I'm done just because I'm lazy like that and I don't have that much time I gotta I gotta do a few more homework assignments so yeah anyways just do that with your granite wall take an acacia sign put it right on there kind of kind of makes like a nice little little wheel design next up what you're gonna want to do is take uh, I think it's polished andesite. Uh, no, it's just andesite. And a dark oak sign. Put it right here by this track. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. And then you're going to want to put a sign here. Then come back over here to get my block I need. Get polished black stone, brick slab, and smooth stone slabs. You're going to want to come back one, two, three, four. Not just three, just three then a smooth stone slab and just like that take another andesite slab and just do the same thing we did on the other side pretty much take the grindstone place a granite wall and your acacia sign like that there you go then you're just going to do the exact same thing we did in the front nice and simple nice and easy okay oops my bad Put your sign facing outwards and your dark oak stair in the middle. And also, you guys, this is like optional. It does not really matter all that much what you do for the bottom side. But I prefer to like fill it in with like a little something just to make it more realistic, I guess. Because you can do like stack 10. I'm using world edit, by the way, to do that. I just did use world edit. But yeah, I almost forgot. Don't forget your dark oak sign on this one as well. This is the same thing on each side except for the middle. Uh, for the middle, you just want to go one, two, three blocks back and polish black stone brick slabs, then a smooth stone slab, and then another polished black stone brick slab. Just like that. I think that's like the vents, like underneath the train. Uh, anyways, we're gonna come back up. This the front of the train is quite weird. So I guess first we can just do like the sides, because if I'm honest, it is really really weird it's really weird anyways take your polished base so i know this might be a little weird if you guys would like to you guys can use andesite but i like it because it, it gives the train a lot of texture so all over the uh polished blackstone slab you're going to want to put um sorry your polished basalt as well as on here polished blackstone or sorry not polished blackstone, your andesite slab you're going to want to put a polished andesite sorry i like I like cannot talk there for a second. As for the door, so these are the doors, and you're actually we can wait to the next layer. But you just want to put a polished andesite block right on top of this andesite slab, or right on top of it, just like that. Perfect. So next up, we're gonna take our polished base on again, rotate it to the side, so it looks like that. It looks nice and crispy. And take a stone block here. Same thing. Just take on block there next up we're just gonna want to come and do the other thing 
on the, the exact same thing on the other side. So it says it looks something a little bit like this. Not a lot of details on this side except for like the front. The front is probably the most detailed actual part of this train if I'm honest. And also I forgot on the first layer but you guys can ask if you want to. Uh, a wither skeleton school just like so. And if you're doing like a linked car, a linked car, put a fence, put a, a dark fence gate to show that is like linked together with another one. But for this, I'm just going to do one car. So on either side, I'm just going to put a wither skeleton school. But like I said, you guys can just use like one of these necks connected to the stair. Easy peasy, lemon cheesy. Next up, this is probably the most difficult and tedious part of, like it's really tedious i'm gonna be honest with you guys it is you're probably wondering why don't you just make it like a whole block well the thing is i would do that but like ah uh, it's just it's just like the thing about the train is that it, it, like if you look here i'll show the image on the screen now but it's like a little angle at like the front of the car so i'm trying to give it that angled look while by putting like this just like this you can do it just like this or on the sides if you want to just like do this but you're gonna need a world edit for this so that is another really kind of irritating part about this I'm, and i'm kind of sorry about it because i know it kind of annoying but it's like this world edit make sure you have a replacer tool like that easy sorry i didn't mean to do this because I'm doing one side at a time just so it's a little bit easier for me to keep track of what I'm actually doing <laughs> but anyways that is the front of it and if you want to as well for the lights put buttons on it definitely don't forget that oh uh <laughs> I'm back my game like broke on me and I just got kicked out the server uh so guys we're just gonna I'm gonna restart this part but Take a trap door, put it up. It may not work for you since you're probably not in a server, but that has this coded in. But our iron trap doors just automatically like flip up like this. So if you don't, if you can't do that, just use like I guess a birch trap door or a spruce trap door. Now anything you really want doesn't matter too much. But next thing you're gonna want to do is just put another one like right behind it, like just right here. So it looks like that. Look like little, little uh, what's it called? I, I can speak for like the conductor door if you want to call it that but anyways take your iron bar these are for the doors by the way so do these for both of the doors and just it's like that like a little thing to represent like there's two like little windows here anyways we're gonna do the same thing on this side for the uh, the the uh, the me when <laughs> I'm sorry anyways uh we're just gonna put it for the uh for the door now we're gonna add the rest of the windows over here as well so just take your iron trap door again you might have to throw a world edit this because still oh, no mind we're good add one on each side then you're gonna want to take your iron or sorry stone brick wall so there's three windows represented here let me let me break this this is what so it should look a little bit something like this also if you guys want to like take a here sorry let me let me just break this i guess if you guys want for reference just keep on looking at this and you guys should be able to you know kind of figure out where everything is if you are a little bit behind or if you're confused on anything hang on okay you're gonna want to take your poly black stone wall i don't know why did you for like the little uh, exit window here in the middle on either side this part might get a little funky this is what i was saying guys it is a little bit weird with this because the, the front is just like all walls and it does get really tedious so what i'm gonna do is just like to make it simpler just I'm gonna do the front just for this just for this though just for this uh just put one stone block above the iron or sorry a polished black stone wall and then on that put a stone brick wall as I did right here. Same thing on the other side as well. Just because these, these are so tedious guys and they just get on my nerves. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, repel that on your black your polished black stone wall as like the main window. You can look out stuff. Pretty cool. 
cool. And the same thing on the other, like, you see the exact same thing on each side, guys, pretty much, for the most part, except for, like, this little thing right here. It's the same one on each side. Next up, we're almost done, guys. Don't worry. You can add an Acacia sign. And now we can move on to finishing this train, finishing off the roof. Guys, so we are now moving on to the last, pretty much last layer of this build, uh, which is the roof. This, like, put on a roof. So put stone block all the way across this entire thing. Then I'm going to come over here and just do this stone brick stair. If you guys want to do stone, or sorry, just a regular stone stairs. So it's like this. If you guys want to do this you can too but i like it better like this because it gives more detail and what is tr <laughs> yes progress is indeed a train good job <laughs> anyways just all along here just put stairs like so and also fix this if you guys are using world edit try to fix any of the things you might have broke and that guys is pretty much it i'm pretty sure that's really all it is Let's just, let me just double check really quick, everyone. Guys, that's, that's really it. I'm going to flip it real quick so you guys can see the whole train by itself. Guys, so I just, <laughs> I just finished this train, uh, finished flipping it, sorry. <clears throat> just finished flipping it. So now you guys can see all of its glory and its amazingness. It is quite a cool train. Uh, if you guys would like to use for any of your cities or anything like that, let me know, like, show me some of your guys' builds. I'd love to see it. It'd be so sick to see you guys using some of my builds and some of your stuff. If you guys would like more videos like this one, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be doing, trying to be doing these at least weekly or somewhat weekly every other week because I'm just so, so much school. So I have not hardly been able to have time to, like, record or anything. So I'm trying to stuff this in. I have to do a few more assignments tonight, but it's pretty late. I'm just trying to get this done so you guys can have a video uh, for this week. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, subscribe for more. Just like this, we're going to be doing more tutorials hopefully soon. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or want me to do specific builds. And I'll try my best to do them. Um, anyways, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.